Pixar's Cars 3 gets a dark sequel teaser trailer. Walt Disney just dropped the first teaser trailer for Cars 3 this morning. That makes sense since Walt Disney's Mona will be the ideal place to show off this first look at next summer's big Pixar sequel. There are two things to note about this very brief, 50-second, teaser. First, the animation for the cars is a lot more lifelike than we saw back in the original 2006 offering, and that was pretty darn good at the time. The level of realism on display is rather stunning, to the point where I wish that this film was showing in 120fps slash 3D slash 4K at a theater near me next summer. Second, this is yet another case of a sequel to a relatively kid-friendly offering getting what amounts to a serious teaser trailer. As you recall, the first teaser for Planes, Fire and Rescue sold the film as a soaring drama about noble, heroic crop-dusting planes using their skills to put out forest fires. The next trailer was a more conventional kid-friendly sell. And this time out, the first Cars 3 teaser trailer amounts to a dark sequel tease, with Lightning McQueen apparently suffering a grim everything-will-change accident that sets the plot in motion. It's an effective way to get our attention and or traumatize the kiddies, for a new installment of, all due respect, Pixar's least respected series. Say what you will about Pixar's recent run of sequels, but they are big business for the animation studio. Finding Dory topped $1 billion worldwide and became the biggest animated film ever in North America with $483 million domestic just $2 million below the adjusted for inflation total of Finding Nemo's original 2003 $339 million theatrical release. Toy Story 3 earned $415 million domestic and over $1 billion back in 2010 while even Monsters University earned $744 million worldwide in the summer of 2013 despite inspiring little more than a well, that was pretty good response. Okay. The odd man out here is Cars 2. The critically slammed 2011 sequel earned $191 million domestic, Pixar's third lowest grosser, and second lowest twin adjusted for inflation. But it also earned $562 million worldwide and made many a Disney dollar via merchandise and post-theatrical business. So the real question is whether a generation of kids and families who grew up with the Cars series starting over 10 years ago will make Cars 3 a bigger deal than Cars 2 was. I didn't care for the films either, without necessarily think they were war crimes, the climax to the first Cars is better than the rest of the movie, but my, will be 6 years old next June, son enjoys them and enjoys the planes movies. As much as we talk about Pixar making tunes for adults, or at least tunes that play as well to adults as to kids, there is no harm in one franchise, especially one that makes them so much money outside of theaters, playing straight to kids. Judging by the synopsis, I would imagine the film itself will be something of a metaphor for the franchise's continued existence. That seems to be a common theme among some revived franchises in recent years which makes sense as we have so many once were special franchises fighting it out in a landscape where their ilk are now the common currency. Cars 3 opens June 16, 2017, against 20th Century Fox's Kingsman, The Golden Circle. If history is our guide, both films will flourish alongside each other. Blindsided by a new generation of blazing fast racers, the legendary Lightning McQueen, voice of Owen Wilson, is suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves. To get back in the game, he will need the help of an eager young race technician, Cruz Ramirez, with her own plan to win, plus inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet and a few unexpected turns. Proving that number 95 isn't through yet will test the heart of a champion Piston Cup racing's biggest stage.